Well, hello. I don't know if this is going to work. That's probably going to sound terrible. Absolutely terrible. What are you going to do, though? You know, this is your option right now. I just want to let you guys know that I'm not going to just stop working just because of a minor setback. You know, I've already cried enough about this shit. I don't feel like crying about it no more. Understandable. I mean, it's like, you're going to cry. You're always going to cry, no matter what. About something. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking. Like, well, isn't the goal to not cry so much? Not necessarily. <laughs> Y'all don't know anything. I mean, there's so much that you can learn from like feeling a lot of shit. Yeah, and you can also learn absolutely nothing. Just keep that in mind as well. I'm talking to myself and to y'all. Just to let you know, all of these conversations are for me to listen to and laugh about. I really think you're making some sort of like suicidal logs. Might as well. You know? It makes sense to do that. Considering that we like document everything, like, why don't I just, like, document the, like, <laughs> the weeks and months and years preceding my suicide? Because <laughs> that, that, that is what it feels like. And I'm such a mess. And I'm tired of, like, I can clean myself up for only so long and then I'm just back to being messy again like I mean literally I am like a total slob and I can clean up like like people tell me like when I clean I fucking clean like I'm talking OCD you know between the baseboards kind of shit, you know, just real intense. Like, my mom will even attest to that. And she, she knows that I'm a slob, but she's like, like, yeah, she, she can clean. Like, when she cleans, she really, she really does it. That's why I wait so long, because it's just, I get so obsessive about it. And then, like, after I clean, and, you know, there's that, like, obligation to, like, try to maintain it, you know, and fuck that. I like messes. I'm comfortable in messes. It makes sense. Messes make sense out of my life. You understand? <laughs> Y'all staring at my chin flag? Because, like, I seriously... Like, this is the stuff I think about. Like, my friend told me that she obsesses about, like, People staring at her like the wrinkles under her eyes like she just thinks about that all day I know she's got what I've got <laughs> so I'm like man no I do that with this. I do that with my yellow teeth I do that with my chin flam like what else do I do that with like if you know if I have like food in my teeth you know I mean that's the thing though people will obsess about that because you know if somebody has food in their teeth you can't help but notice you have to notice that shit I can't talk I'm getting too excited can't you tell when I, when I get excited I talk really really fast and then I laugh at, like, everything that I say because, like, for the most part, what I say is pretty good. <laughs> oh, my word. See, I wonder how it's going to capture the sound. Well, maybe there's a way to, like, move it so that it'll capture the sound better. I don't know, man. I don't know. I really don't want to go to work. I really don't want to go to work because I know that they're 
not going to tell me, hey, we found your camera, or hey, those kids decided to bring it back because they had a heart, you know? So it didn't fucking happen. I'm not real, like, helpful about society, being good people. And it just, like, goes along with, like, my idea that, like, you know, people are pretty, pretty evil, you know? People are evil, especially people that eat at, like, fast food places that I work at. I don't know why, but all the evil people like to uh, frequent McDonald's and Wendy's and Taco Bell and really all, all places in America where you can get cheap, easy shit, because that's the American way, right? Cheap, easy shit. Yeah, but it's your fault, though. You can't fucking play the victim because you left a fucking camcorder in the bathroom, Amy. Like a dumbass. The thing is, I just, you just want to take something, you know. Well, maybe they thought, like, oh, somebody just left this here. So, yeah, but here's the thing. Like, say I, I took a camera. Say I took a camera that I found in the bathroom. And then I watched some of the footage. And I was like, oh, my God. This is the, the, the bitch that, that works at the place where I took this, you know. And, and she waited on me. She was real nice to me. And she brought me my tray of nasty ass food. Yeah, like maybe, maybe, just maybe. I, I mean, I would take the camera back if that were me. Just because I would feel really bad, you know? I wouldn't take the camera though. Like, because it's weird. Like, I would steal from like a, a family member or a friend faster than I steal from like a total stranger. I know that's strange. That is, it doesn't, you're not really winning anybody anyway. <laughs> like, oh, you know, I used to be a club girl, so, you know, I'm getting what I deserve. Yeah, I mean, that's how I feel about it, too. Like, I have no right to be angry about it because of the fact that I used to do that very thing. It's just, I don't know, I just want to take something sentimental. It just seems like, that seems like some creepy serial killer shit to do. This way, they're probably, if they took it, they're probably going to delete the footage and use it. Or they'll sell it. They'll take a pawn shop or some shit. You don't know. You don't know what these people's motives are. Okay, I guess I'm connected to the Wendy's life now. Isn't that exciting? So I guess I'm just going to have to yell. Still filming. Can, can it film you and you be on a site? That's, that's fucking crazy. Technology, man. <laughs> that's so cool. Yeah, I could be on a website and be filming. I don't know, man. I would just watch this footage later. No, fuck it. I'm just going to put it up immediately. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put up videos. As soon as I fucking shoot him. That's right. I want y'all to see how hard I work. Every fucking day. Just to stay alive. Just have people shit all over me. Ooh, it's only 3.58. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, but anyway. Uh, yeah, it's just... I used to just steal, like, random shit. No, I still like money and drugs, and alcohol, stuff like that. I mean, I know that's bad. I'm admitting this stuff, so I mean, I don't do it anymore. You know, I steal pens, okay? That's my. That's the only thing I steal, and I don't really steal them because most of them are from Advanced Financial, and they just give those away. <laughs> yeah, I know I've got one in here somewhere. Right there. See, Advanced Financial. The only pen I didn't have to steal. <laughs> anyway. See, look at this is how much I write. This is my love porno, by the way. It's in pink. This is like the stuff that I'm supposed to be putting on YouTube, like this idea for this TV show about me, you know, whatever the fuck. Uh, that's what this is. It's in like the 
the composition book for, for kindergarten through the third grade. That's what this is. Um, and then this is just my other jokes. That, oh, a Sharpie pen. Awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's, that's what I do. Just constantly write, 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 write. And then feel like I'm doing the right thing with the uh, this, whatever this is, I feel like it's right. Even if it feels wrong, it's still right. I was gonna make a pedophile joke, but 